What's up, people? Made it back. It's raining in the valley, <laughs> but I got a few more days of vacation left, and I uh, thought I would uh, take on the book of Jerome, which is just a one shot. So, it's got some interesting stuff in it, I guess. I say more. The Book of Jerome, author unknown. <laughs> now, behold, I, Jerome, Write a few words according to the commandment of my father, Enos. See, why do you need a genealogy? You just do a daisy chain on down, down through the years. <laughs> that our genealogy may be kept, but it really isn't. It just, it sort of is. And as these plates are small, and as these things are written for the intent and benefit of our brother the Lamanites. Wherefore, it must needs be that I write a little. <laughs> but I shall not write the things of my prophesying, nor my revelations. Once again, aren't they the same thing? trying to make this book a little bit thicker. For what could I write more than my fathers have written? For have I not revealed, for have not they revealed the plan of salvation? I say unto you, you, yay! That's a change. And this sufficeth me. Behold, it is expedient that much should be done among the people because of the hardness of their hearts and the deafness of their ears and the blindness of their minds and the stiffness of their necks. Nevertheless, this is all one sentence, God is exceeding merciful unto them and has, has not as yet swept them off the face of the land. Wow, that's all one sentence. <laughs> and there are many among us who have many revelations, for they are not stiff necked, <laughs> and as many as are not stiff necked and have faith have communion with the Holy Spirit which maketh manifest unto the children of men according to their faith. And now, behold, two hundred years had passed away, and down here in the footnote, B.C. 399. I guess they no. And the people, yeah, it passed away, and the people of Nephi had waxed strong in the land. Boy, we missed a lot of their history. <laughs> they observed to keep the law of Moses and the Sabbath day holy unto the Lord. And they profaned not, neither did they blaspheme. Isn't it the same thing? And the laws of the land were exceedingly strict. Sounds fun. And they were scattered about much of the face of the land, and the Lamanites also. And they were exceedingly, exceeding more numerous than were they of the Nephites. Because they bred like bunnies, huh? A little more stereotypes there. 
and they loved murder and would drink the blood of beasts and that they came many times against us. The Nephites to battle. But our kings and our leaders were mighty men in the faith of the Lord, and they taught the people the ways of the Lord. Wherefore, we withstood the Lamanites and swept them away out of our land and began to fortify our cities and whatsoever place of our inheritance. And we multiplied exceedingly, because they're Mormons. <laughs> Proto-Mormons. Proto-Mormons, that's it. <laughs> they multiplied exceedingly. Big surprise. <laughs> and spread upon the face of the land, like they said before, and became exceeding rich in gold and in silver and in precious things and in fine workmanship of wood, in buildings and in machinery, and also in iron and copper and brass and steel. Kind of the same things, but process. Oh, right. I mean, I would have just said, you know, metalwork. Damn, could they make this a little more long-winded? It's a gold fucking book. <laughs> they must have been exceeding rich, but who could lift this? I mean, I didn't hear that Joseph Smith had a fork, had a forklift handy <laughs> to carry his book home. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, iron and copper, brass and steel, making all manner of tools of every kind to till the ground, and weapons of war, yea, the sharp-pointed arrow. Is there any other kind of arrow that a warrior would want? Yeah, I'm going to get that little uh, Nerf arrow. <laughs> sharp-pointed arrow. Give me a break. That must have sounded impressive to somebody. <laughs> and the quiver and a dart, and a javelin, and all preparations for war, which is all you needed to say, if you were trying to be conservative. And thus being prepared to meet the Lamanites, they did not prosper against us. But the word of the Lord was verified which he spake unto our fathers, saying that, Inasmuch as ye will keep my commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. And, it came to pass that the prophets of the Lord did threaten the people of Nephi, according to the word of God that if they did not keep the commandments, but should fall into transgression, they should be destroyed from the face of the land, given to Dana Mahway. <laughs> Wherefore, the prophets and the priests and the teachers did labor diligently, exhorting with all long suffering the people to diligence, teaching the law of Moses and the intent for which it was given persuading them to look forward unto the Messiah and believe in him to come as and believe in him to come as though he already was like we do now again he wasn't born yet he came bye he's leapfrogging to our time now I'm just taking him a couple of eons yeah a couple of hands <laughs> couple thousand years. <sighs> as, uh, as if he already was. God, they're such good prophets. 
They spanked the Old Testament prophets. And after this manner did they teach them, and it came to pass that by so doing they kept them from being destroyed upon the face of the land. For they did prick their hearts with the word, continually stirring them up unto repentance. <laughs> God! Serious guilt trips there. And it came to pass that 230 and 8 years had passed away. And uh, let's see, down here, the footnote is BC 361. So you can count on that. After the manner of wars and contentions and dissensions, for the space of much time, I, Jerom, do not write more, for the plates are small. But behold, my brethren, ye can go to the other plates of Nephi. For behold, upon them the records of our wars are engraven, according to the writings of the kings and of those <coughs> those which they caused to be written. And I delivered these plates unto the hands of my son Omni that they may be kept according to the commandments of my fathers. And that is Jerome. I think I'll uh, jump on to Omni, but in another video.